Chama-se de... Hello! Street art, vintage shops, unique and delicious markets, incredible nightlife, cool hipsters, and alternative fashion. This is what Shoreditch is known for. But what can you actually do in this area? Hi, curious gang! It's your London friend Vasi, and today we're going to Shoreditch, East London. And Shoreditch is the type of area which, personally, my grandma would hate because of the street art, because of the nightlife, and because of the people that sometimes are a little bit too creative. Our go today is go and see what there is of fun and unique things to do in this area. And if you enjoy this content, you find it fun and useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Hi Ben, is this your alternative sweatshirt to go to Shoreditch? Oh yes, it's really like, you know, on point. But before we start exploring, let's do a little fun game, shall we? Hello, hello, welcome to the fun fact game. Can you guys guess, and also Ben will be uh -huh. guessing, yeah. with like what percentage have the prices of flats increased just in the last five years? Last five years, let's say a 20% increase. It's been 25% increase uh -huh. oh. just in the last five years. Five years. Oh, we should have bought a house here then. Can you guess how much it is a uh, one bedroom apartment in this area? Bedroom apartment, 350,000. He thinks that it's 350,000. But do you know what is the right answer? It is almost 700. 700? Yeah, it is 680,000 pounds. Yeah! And it's even more interesting because back in the days this area used to be called rough and desolate just like 20 years ago. But look how much it has changed. And enough talk about prices, now let's go back to what can you do in Shoreditch. As you can see, the street art in Shoreditch, it is just incredible. It's always changing and literally never boring. I have to say I'm not like the biggest fan of street art, but I definitely love the one in Shoreditch. Aren't you impressed? Uh, I work here, so I don't really... <laughs> so sad. A famous area in Shoreditch, it's called Brick Lane, which is known for the Bengali immigrants who have arrived in the area around the 60s and they have also opened Indian restaurants in there and this is what we decided to go for, but I have to warn you, this was our first time in an Indian restaurant, so we didn't really know what to expect or what to have. This is one of these times when I look at the menu and I have like no idea. What should they get? Or what are actually the dishes? <laughs> but I feel like that's the fun part of it. Do you have an idea of what we got? So this is papardam, and it's supposed to be made from a chickpea flour, I think. This beautiful tray with all the sauces. With I don't know wh wh what should we do with them. Oh wow! Oh, it smells so much like cumin. <coughs> It actually tastes like something very homey, mm. I would say, like mm. something that maybe your grandma would make on a, on a Sunday. You know, it has like tomatoes, like lots of spices and very hearty. I have to say, on the menu there was something intense and in London, and in London never seen on the menu anything, you know, that like it's starting from less than a pound. This crispy thingy that we just ate. <laughs> the crispy thingy. The crispy thingy. <laughs> that we just ate it was 75p. You're right, like usually not even the water is 75p. No, it's good, you can't get it's anything. Good, good, and out of the blue, uh, all the table is full with food. I, I, I literally have no idea how this happened. Like we ordered two things and now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And the only oh, extra thing which I know I ordered it is the food. When exactly did we order this? Like this is just rice with different types of veggies inside. But I think what makes it really great are the spices, which 
I don't really know what they are. I can't tell. Uh. And we ended up having so much food that we took some of it for home. And I cannot even remember when was the last time that I went to a restaurant and couldn't finish the dishes. Because, you know, usually they're tiny. We can see an enormous queue right in front of us. And can you guess for what it is? It is for the bagel shop, which is also featured in my brick lane video. But to be honest with you, I had no idea that people would queue so much for this. Maybe it's after the big success of my brick lane video. No, just joking. Pretty much no one watched it. We're trying to go to the Columbia Road flower market and we kind of got lost a couple of times. But now I see like so many people just hugging their flowers and coming from one way so I guess this should be the right one and I hope really hope that it doesn't close by the time that we are there because it's gonna be such a pity you can see that Londoners love their coffee and I, I have literally never seen in my life anyone queuing so much and like getting so excited for flowers it's quite incredible can you move it oh yes something else quite fun and pretty much a must in shortage is to go vintage shopping yes guys you heard me right shortage it's literally a gold mine for one of a kind clothes and accessories you can find many independent boutiques and vintage shops but my favorite one has to be tea rooms at the brick lane sunday market but i just have to tell you like don't expect things to be cheap just because they're second hand the next place where we are going it's called box park and it is the one that i have been like pretty much the most excited about because it is actually made out of shipping containers how cool is that i feel like london is one of these places where you can take something as basic as a shipping container and turn it into something cool or alternative and where people actually want to go show us g Guess what we bumped into? More, more street art. More street oh, art. No. <laughs> ben is already tired, but I mean, I, 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 I have to show game. you. Everyone in Tiorino is like, I don't know, super cool and I feel like very basic. Yeah, everyone is like so cool, so what alternative, with like pretty cool clothes and everything, with their own style and I feel very average and boring, which is an interesting feeling to have. First Ooh. of all, oh, hi! Ciao, Micho! Ciao! And after that, we headed off to the Spitfields City Farm where we read that there are even donkeys. And I don't know, we just couldn't believe that, so we thought we have to check it out. I see one, two, three, four donkeys! Yeehaw! Uh, actually, it turns out that we cannot enter today. Like it's open from Tuesday to Sunday, but like starting from next week. So at the moment when you're watching this video, you can go, but unfortunately not today. I will still like try and show you how it is inside, but yeah, we weren't very lucky. Four donkeys chilling in the farm. They're very cute and you can see like they look very clean as well. So mm, if I were in London, there, more, yeah. I would totally like hug them. What's your favorite part of our trip to Shoreditch today? Mm, the donkey. For the sure. donkey. And for me, the biggest highlight of our daily trip has been the park around the city farm and of course this curry. Like having a curry at Brick Lane, it's like having fish and chips in general in the UK. So if you find yourself in the area, definitely, definitely suggest you trying it out. And this is how we say goodbye, guys. I will see you in my next video. Love you all. Bye. Yeah.